What did the uh, What did the AG tell you in terms of uh, federal resources that uh, he could make available? Well, it's not so much what he told us as uh, he came here to listen. And what he did, he was very polite and listened to some of the things that we were doing. And what we shared with him was the collaborations that we have as a city, as the private, private public entities come together and work together to make a difference. We talked about the successes here of youth uprising and how we deal with prevention and intervention and how police are a part of that by being building those relationships with the youth so we're not just dealing with suppression. What I share with him is that I have a sense of urgency in the city. I said the rate of, of crime here needs to be reduced so we can have investments into the city and so the city can grow. Uh, he agreed with that and he listened to that. What did you, or did you ask him for? I did. <laughs> and uh, I won't go into that uh, too much in detail. That's something that he's had, he has to take back. But I am looking for uh, resources uh, to deal with suppression-based related things. I'm also looking for resources for investment for prevention and intervention, growing programs like our OK program, mentoring program. But uh, we're also looking for the hue and cry of those agencies that work under him, which could be uh, the FBI, Drug Enforcement Administration, and Alcohol Tobacco and Products. And how did he seem to react to this? Oh, he was, he was very receptive, very open, and I think he wants to help. Just, I, I'll make one quick response Great. to that. If you recall, the COPS program that uh, came about as part of the stimulus effort was slightly over $1 billion. That program was over solicited over 8 to 1. For $1 billion, there was about $8.2 billion in grants. So that $1 billion was inadequate from, from the very, very beginning. Even in that context, Oakland received the largest COP grant of any city in the entire United States based on the competence and capability and collaboration of many people, some of whom are standing right here. One of the things that did resonate among many things that resonated with the Attorney General today was a comment made by Dan Lenheim, which was, if you look at Oakland and other cities up and down the state who are facing these tremendous economic downturns in their, which res have resulted in deficits in the general fund, Cities are having to decide whether they lay off large numbers of police officers because that's a high budget item or whether they lay off uh, people and cut programs that are vitally important in the intervention and prevention part of our strategy. What did resonate with him was the idea that if this federal government funded efforts to allow the police officers to not have to be cut, that then would not place cities in a place where they end up cutting vital programs that are part of the prevention and intervention public safety strategy. That resonated with him. So I have a feeling that they're going to go back and talk about how do we revitalize a COPS program that uh, expands the dollar so that cities could access that leaving other revenues for other much more important programs. That point did resonate well.